There's a three-pronged fork in the road just past Hope where wine drinkers lean right to travel the Crow's Nest Highway. As the road winds its way upward and east alongside the wild Similkameen River, you quickly sense a millennia of ancient landslides, unforgiving winds, and cataclysmic geological events all have shaped the Similkameen Valley. Once known only for its fruit stands, the peaches and tomatoes of today must compete with stone-laden vineyards and pristine grapes. It is here on the upper bench you'll find the tiny perfect estate of Clos du Soleil. Upon arriving at Clos du Soleil, winemaker Mike Clark takes me to an abandoned orchard, a property they've just purchased up the road. At 3 p.m. it's so hot the stones that coat the topsoil are too warm to hold. The new site is similar in geology to the estate vineyard, and the team has high hopes it will be the perfect home for their Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc vines. This is what I wanted to show you, Tony. A really wow. special piece of land here, right up against the cliffs on the upper bench of the small Camine Valley. Mike, everybody talks about sense of place. Well, what is the sense of place in the Similkameen Valley? There are so many differences between sites, but there are also some commonalities. We have this, this huge wind that moves masses of air through here, dries the grapes, dries the vines, and can cause a really hot day like what you and I are experiencing right now for temperatures to plummet in the evening. Persistent warm dry wind blows daily across the Similkameen Valley and is one of the reasons why it's the organic farming capital of Canada. With little disease pressure, the farmers have no use for pesticides or herbicides. In addition to that, the soils here are really unique, mm -hmm. very stony, good water holding capacity, but also well draining. That is really key to the distinctiveness. What you're seeing there is the soil being created. Claude de Soleil's founding families decided early on to plant the major Bordeaux varieties. A decade down the road, one of the best surprises is how well Cabernet Sauvignon is doing at 49 degrees north. Many of us are familiar with how Napa Valley or Bordeaux Cabernets taste, but what of the Similkameen version? There are so many different varietals grown in the Similkameen, and so part of the story is what does this Cabernet Sauvignon taste like on the upper bench because the, the soils and the microclimate are so unique here. And the answer is, I, I could pick this wine out blind every year. It's very perfumed, it has a light, delicate structure, it's that elegance that I'm searching for in all of my wines. And it's a hallmark of Cabernet Sauvignon coming from this vineyard. You have so, such freshness in your wines. That temperature swing from day to night is part of that story. It helps retain the acidity in the wine, and an acidity is key to, uh, to quality wine and the longevity we were talking about. You like aging wines. Oh, absolutely. Because? Because a wine develops so many more characters in the bottle over the years. I want to make wines that are beautiful on the, the day they go into the bottle, but there's so much more complexity if you put them away for a few years. The Similkameen Valley will never overwhelm you with its size. Blink and you may miss its tiny towns as you drive by. But just as the winding road forces you to reduce your pace and connect with the land, Clos de Soleil beckons you to slow down, turn off the highway, and connect with their wines. It's part of our philosophy here that when we have customers come to the tasting room, we want them to really go right in and see what we're doing in the winery, see what we're doing in the vineyard. Yeah, connect them right to the spot. Exactly. The French term Clos is used to describe a vineyard enclosed by a wall, in essence a true estate winery. At Clos de Soleil, the estate model has been the vision from the start, nothing more and nothing less. So Mike, the, the new vineyard uh, be on stream soon enough. How big is Clos de Soleil going to get now? We're always going to be small. We're always going to be boutique. The idea right from the start was to be specialist, to do one thing really well, do it year after year, better and better and better. And that's what we've been doing. Uh, in my view as a winemaker, uh, it's a million little decisions that add up to making the best quality wine possible. And the only way I can be on top of the, all those is by being small enough to be hands-on with every step. So a true estate winery. Exactly, yes. 